Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and today I'm going to show you how you can deploy a Flask application on Render for 100% free and also with a simple few steps. All right, so let's begin. So first of all, you need to head to the Render's official website, which is render.com. And on hitting this website, you'll see some options to sign in or get started. If you don't have an account, you can create an account using get started and you can just sign in using your social credentials, credentials as well, like GitHub, GitLab, Bitbucket or Google. So I'll just log in into Render and I'll show you how it works. All right, so now I've logged in in Render and I'll go to the dashboard from here. And now we can deploy our website uh, using the web services tab. So we have we can deploy a web service, which is basically a test of Flask app. So for the Flask app, we need we have a GitHub repository here named Test Flask. So we're going to deploy this. This is just a simple Flask application, which, just, which is just a simple uh, one page website saying this is a sample project. So we'll deploy this project right now and we'll go to the dashboard of render. And now for this, if you do not have GitHub uh, linked to your render, there will be an option here, which will say login with GitHub and it will uh, tell you to log in with GitHub here and it will authorize and authenticate your GitHub account from the browser itself. All right, so I have already done that, so we can move forward. So for this, I'll just select the repository which I'm gonna uh, host on Render. So I'll just take the Flask repository here, which is Test Flask. So I'll select this and then I'll click on Connect, and then we can set the configuration for this. For example, the name of the uh, web service. I'll just keep it Test Flask or anything you want, and then we can select the language, which is Python three, which is auto detected by Render. And the branch for the repository is main code, which is main branch for me. And then we have the region. You can select any region you want. Uh, I'll just keep it Oregon. But, uh, and then you can select the root directory. If a code is inside uh, the main directory, like this uh, root directory itself, so you do not need to mention any source here. If it is inside a folder in Git repo, then you need to mention the name of a folder. All right, so we have. Uh, and then we can we have the build command here. So for the build command for Flask app, we can just run pip install hyphen r requirements or txt. If you want to run any additional uh, build commands, you can run that by writing a uh, double ampersand. And then you can write other commands like Python or uh, anything you want, something like manage.py, which will be used in Django application or any command you want. For us, it is just requirements.txt installation. So obviously you need a requirements.txt file right here inside your GitHub repository as well. If you do not, don't have a requirements.txt file, you can create that using the freeze method. Well, so here we have start command. You can either use Gunicon or normal uh, standard Python command to run a Flask app when the deployment is complete. So for starting the app, I can simply run it something like Python app.py whatever the name of your application is and one more thing that you need to run this application explicitly on the port zero on the port 5000 of the ip address 0.0.0, .0 just in case to mention that it can run on any host so i have explicitly mentioned inside app.run that the host here is 0.0.0.0, .0, .0. all right so i'll just run the python app.py file here and i'll just keep it free this pack is free forever so you uh, your application will be deployed on a uh, render forever all right so moving forward we can set environment variables for a project i do not have any currently so i'll just skip this part and for the advanced section you can also set a, a secret file and some other features which we do not need right now so we'll move on further and now we can just click on deploy web service which will start the de deployment process on its own all right so i'll just let it build now and i'll uh, see you when it has completed the build for us. All right, so guys, as you can see, our service is currently live now. So it has been deploying for the past three to four minutes since it was a small app. So it was pretty quick, but it can be uh, longer depending on the size of your application. All right, so we'll just walk through what all our render deployment did. So it first of all installed the requirements using the build command, which was pip install hyphen r requirements.txt. And after installing all the requirements, it started the build deploy command, which is running Python app.py. And then it was uh, serving the Flask app on, a, on the local host for render. 
and then it detected the port 5000 open on uh, the host 0.0.0.0 and then it set up a reverse proxy on the current vendor website which is this right here to the port 5000 so now if we access this website on our browser we should be able to access our flask application so i'll just hit the website and you can see that we have our current flask application deployed right here in just a few simple steps and rendered and that too for 100 percent free all right so that was a pretty straightforward process and that's it for the video so guys thanks for watching